we click on projects, we are going to see the sample data that, that came with installing Project Fork. Um, we'll click on Web Design Project, and then here in your project, you're going to see your project description, project task, project logo, uh, and project details, and there you can see the founder and the members that have been added to the project. We'll click on Edit, and general information, we have the web design project. We can give this project a deadline. We can change the date here and give it till July 31st at 5 p.m. We can change the text in here, um, apply. We can invite people and force them to join automatically or we'll add new members to it without forcing them to join. Um, now with Project Fork, it is it lives off of the core default um, user group or user manager. So whatever users that you already have in your user manager can be added to Project Fork. Whatever users are added to Project Fork will automatically be added to the user manager. Okay. Now for now we're going to force a user that has already been added. We'll force Lady Ledbetter and save. Okay. Now, if we have the project selected, if we go to users, you should be able to see your users in there. For now, for now it's just letting it let better. Okay, go back to projects. And within projects, here you can create a new project. Again, you can do it under dashboard, or you can do it under projects. Project will be pretty much exactly like what we saw for a web design project. If we click on new. You'll see the general information. You can select your general information or give it a title. Give it a project deadline, type in some information, you can invite people, it's going to be the same exact thing that I showed you just a second ago. For now we're going to cancel out, we're going to go ahead and just um, use this demo and just play with the web design project. Okay. Um, so the next thing I want to do is show you the task for web design project. Okay. If we go to task, we do have web design project selected, we will see the task in here. Right here, we actually see the milestone and the task for each milestone. Um, a milestone is just like a category. So for instance, we have the project kickoff. Um, we have all the tasks that are associated with the project kickoff. Same thing goes for web design, create Joomla template, etc. Okay. Um, now, say we want to add a new task to project kickoff. So we'll say new, give it general information, um, we'll say um, testing kickoff um, I'll we'll just say testing, okay, testing kickoff and we are going to put it under the project kickoff milestone is a task complete? No, we can set a priority for this we'll say medium we'll give it a deadline we'll give it the 29th at 5 p.m. and we can type in some information about this task we can set it for uh, a responsible person and here we'll add the members um, we can give it to whatever responsible person now remember that this uh, responsible person must be added to the project in order for this person to be responsible for this task okay for now we'll just leave it blank and we'll click on save now we have testing kickoff is under the milestone of project kickoff.